CSV is a common file type to represent data and in this lesson we will take a look at how to use CSV files to represent data in our charts with high charts. To do this we will need additional uh, data module. To load that data module just add additional script tag with this URL in it. That would be the same code highcharts.com slash module slash data dot js. In later lessons I will show you how to import and require high charts and how to use modules from high charts in those imports. But at this moment, let's stick with this. So what we have now is an options object where we specify the zoom type, the type of the chart, its column. We have only title. We have the same title for the y axis. What we can do now is to pass that object to our high charts method. And then we can add data to that options object when we have that data. So first we have to fetch it. In my examples here, I have jQuery. So if you use jQuery, you will do it this way. But if you don't use jQuery, I will show later how to do it without jQuery. So first the jQuery way. So we'll write get and I have here in this folder test CSV. And this is again, this example comes from the documentation because I don't have a great imagination. So I just use whatever they have in the documentation just to show you the concept of how it works. So we get the test CSV file and then we pass a callback. That's an arrow function. This CSV is uh, what will get back to us. So now what we can do is have that options data and we would have CSV on it. If you're confused about the syntax, we can do it this way. So CSV data. Or if you like the shorter version, then you can just name the CSV and that would be the same thing. Next, what we would do is use the high charts method. So it's still the same. So the high charts, then chart, then we pass the ID of the container. In, in our case, this is a, a named container. And then we pass the options object. And now this should work. So we have our charts that comes from the CSV file. And when that CSV file is ready, then we have our chart ready. The other option is jQuery might not be the popular right now. So what we can do is use fetch to do that. And fetch returns a promise. And when we use promise, we use then. Then we take that response and we return that response with the res uh, text. If it would be JSON return, we would use uh, JSON. Uh, but since it is text, what CSV returns that we use text. The thing is, uh, it will return us a promise again, and it will be fulfilled when the data is fully ready. So we have to use one more then, and that will be when our data is ready. And from that on, it is basically the same thing. So we would have options. So we would have options data, CSV, and then we would do the same thing where it is container and options. So this should work as well. Well, and it does work. The other useful things that you can do is enable polling and then your data will be updated in real time. You're not going even to need to do this whole fetch or get thing. What you can do is comment this everything here. And what you will do is say options data. Uh, this will stay the same. But on this option data, you would specify a CSV URL. In my case, this is a CSV URL from localhost. Uh, that's the file. And then what I would do is enable polling. This is uh, false by default. And the other thing that you might want to uh, change is the how often it should refresh the data and pull it. By default, it's one, but we can change it to two, for example. Now the data will be updated every two seconds. And we can see that when we go here, if we open inspect and go to network tab, we would see every two seconds, we get the request to test CSV and we can even test this. So we have apples eight for John. And if we go to our test CSV, we change it to let's say 80, we go back and it changed automatically. So this is a way that you can pull real data real time with high charts. And it is as simple as just enabling polling and providing the CSV URL. Data module allows you to work with other types of data like Google spreadsheets or HTML tables. But in this example, in this video, we'll just focus on the CSV file and that would be it for today.